A Birmingham man says TSA is going too far with searches and it borders on sexual assault. Earlier this week, we told you about a woman who claimed she was assaulted during a pat down at the Birmingham airport. Now a protest is being planned. Our Scott Packard explains National Opt Out Week. He took his hands and ran it all the way up inside of my legs into my private parts. Chris Key says he's had enough of the Transportation Security Administration. His YouTube video from an airport in Baltimore is among many, showing pat down some call too aggressive and invasive. People don't realize when they give up a little bit of liberty for security, you know what happens? You lose both. And, and that's what's happening with this. He's taking part in opt out in film week. About, it's a national effort. I mean, People will voluntarily pass on metal detectors and body scanners to opt for a pat down. They will then post the videos online. People have inalienable rights given to them by God that's supported by the Constitution. TSA takes its mission to protect the safety of the traveling public seriously, and our officers will continue to uphold our high standards of professionalism, TSA said in a written statement. They continue, TSA respects passengers' right to exercise freedom of speech as well as the rights of fellow travelers trying to get to their destination safely and without unnecessary delay. Delay. Passenger concerns about screenings, they say, are taken seriously. But the TSA says they have to balance those concerns with threats from people who want to harm the country. And they say the reason body scans and pat downs are becoming more necessary is because more and more explosives are coming in liquid form. Scott Packard, CBS 42 News. Now, we have links to videos that show pat-downs and more on Opt-Out Week. They're all online at CBS42.com.